in your broken dreams. You know how many, how many souls are walking around this motherfucking earth? Mad, stressed out, destroyed. You know, some of these people are really destroyed out here, man. If happy, if things aren't going a certain way for them in their life, they wish you the worst. Love some spliffies, I'ma bring all my niggas Yeah, 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 yeah You should bring all your bitches, yeah It's all about how you move through this maze, through this jungle This concrete jungle, man A bunch of animals, snakes, rats, gorillas Some monsters, too They don't even belong in this jungle, but they here I've been MIA with the music shit Only as in regards to videos and dropping records more consistently But I've been focusing on the marketing aspect of it I've been focusing on what am I gonna do with the finances, not just spending them on little features and little dumb shit. I wanna make sure everything I do counts. At the same time, what I want out of this music shit is a lot different than what other people want. I just wanna relieve some mental stress and therapy. The life I live is good. I live a good life. So I'm happy with just being able to maintain this good life and have some, some mental clarity, you know what I'm saying? When I wanna do Strangle the motherfucker. Just drop a record, man. I talk about those kind of things. At the same time, I've realized what you say and what you put into the universe really matters. With that being said, I took a second to step back because the image I was portraying before versus the image I'm portraying now are completely different. And I wanted to give the old me a breather. Reincarnate myself, reappear and show everyone really what I can do with my artistic abilities and what I can do when I use this creative mind. You only got one life and it's wise that you do anything you can do with it and enjoy that shit. It took a lot of time to sit back and uh, regroup, gather up my thoughts, you know what I'm saying? Find out who's really down for the next move, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people that want to bandwagon, hop on a wagon when when the train's moving and shit, you know what I'm saying? But there's not a lot of people that wanna help you get this shit going. It's been ups and downs and it has not been easy, but the thing that I haven't forgot about is enjoy it. You gotta enjoy your life, man. I was doing so much just for the culture, just for the people, and I wasn't reaping the benefits of it. I'm definitely gonna say this. The last year and some change, I've been living and I've been enjoying my life, raising my children, just got full custody of my son, you know, so, I had to take a second and really like soak that in, cause that's major. So I stopped entertaining them motherfuckers for a little bit, you know what I'm saying? From this point forward, I'm gonna spread positivity. You know, it may not be what you consider positive, but it's definitely gonna be more productive from my end and from my spot, you know? Keep the shows going, you know? We're gonna do some, we're gonna do shows annually. People know we're serious now. If I say I'm gonna bring this guy out, people know I'm not lying. My main man Mel. Hey yo, can that shit hear me? Yo yeah. Alright, uh, yo peep. Smart. This is this is one of my my day one engineers. Saying from the beginning. You know saying he's been touching up a lot of my shit, you know. There's a lot of that bullshit. I don't do that. I like to dabble in a lot of everything so I'm knowledge in that field and I can potentially help people on my team grow and become better. You know what I'm saying? Cause there's a lot of edge there's a lot of talented people out here but they aren't educated in this business they don't have the resources or the funds to even make the moves that they envision in their head they don't they don't even know what way to go i want to be that umbrella you know when i say i i speak about the fam entertainment the fam entertainment has evolved it has grown into something when the fam first started it was a, a band of brothers that did music and they can rely on each other to go to videos and shows and we knew we could depend on each and one of us to be on that stage. Over time, people see what works for them and they see what doesn't work for them. And that's when the evolution of the fam happens and now it has transferred into more of a platform than a group or an institution of guys. It's more like the fam entertainment is going to be a platform for upcoming artists to work through. Whether distribution, um, networking, getting you shows, we're going to do things like that.
not gonna take over the world and be some major ass fucking booking agency. That's not what I'm saying is going on here. But what I'm saying is the fam entertainment, the fam has evolved into the fam entertainment and now we are a platform. You have artists from all different. What's going on, baby? I'm doing, um, I'm filming right now with the people doing a video. Can I call you back in a few? Like I said, I had to put on pause for the family, you know what I'm saying? But um, when they call, I answer because I don't know what's going on. Anything could be happening with my kids. For the party, baddest one out of 50. She the life for the party, baddest one out of 50. Nails, their hair, makeup, she looks. And I feel back because my peers are really doing their thing. Not that one interferes with the other, but it can. Absolutely can. If the focus is all on one, why spread it out and try to evenly disperse that amongst everyone else? Nah, that one. When the time, when the, when your time comes, your time comes. You know what I'm saying, like at the same time, there's different genres and different styles. So if you're capitalizing in the market that you're in, then you're already in great shape. And all that it seems, I can see things change. I can see things change. There's too many lanes. Steady rapping game. There's so many days stuck on freeze frame. The same ones on Instagram. Nobody fall off. I'm literally building character. I'm building who I'm turning into. I'm I'm going through a transitional phase. That's what I like to call it. I like to call it a transitional phase. Fuck, I'm about to be 29 next month. I would definitely say I'm going through a transitional phase. You know, like, I'm a dad now. The shit I say means stuff, you know? So I took a big step back and I looked at that and I realized the shit that I was saying was having people look at me a certain way. It had me perceived to be a certain kind of person. And that's not what I want. That's not what I want my art to reflect on. But um, ain't nobody fall off. People who know me know me know I've been working behind the scenes consistently. You know what I'm saying? I got, we got projects. I got a new She's project. in love with who I am. Put up on her. That shit watch me do my dance. Kick him to the curb. I've been flexing on your man. You should know your words. You never seen a hundred bands. Y'all stay tuned, man. You know what I'm saying? I want y'all to know that this is, this is all the journey that you're coming on with me. I'm, I'm letting you guys in on my personal journey and that's what a lot of people aren't doing. So it's not that I do, it's not that I fell off and I abandoned the music and I chose not to do it. It's that I had to make sure that I was right in other aspects of my life so I can give music my undivided attention when it's required, you know?